Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to configure manual shipping method in NobCommerce. For this tutorial, we are using version 4.1. So once you have set up your online store with NobCommerce by adding all the products in the product catalog and configure all the payment methods, but there's one more important thing that you might want to configure before going live, which is shipping method. It is one of the most important aspects of e-commerce business if you are selling physical products that needs to be delivered to the customers. So obviously if you're dealing with products that needs to be shipped, you need to have a shipping method configured on your NopCommerce site so you can charge the customer accordingly. Or if you want to offer free shipping, you should still configure this shipping method on your store site. So NopCommerce makes it really easy to manage these settings in the administration section. So let's go to the dashboard section and see how it can be configured. So we'll go into the dashboard section. And from dashboard, all you have to do is go to configuration and shipping. And right here, you'll see shipping providers. Once you click on it, It'll open this page where you can activate it if it's not active. You can see here it's manual fixer by weight and by total shipping method. So first to activate it, all you have to do is edit, make sure this is checked and update it. So in this case, we can see it's already active. We'll go into the configure section. And right here where you can configure all your information about the manual shipping method. So let's look into the by weight section. Here you can flip the switch by weight, fix rate. So well, let's discuss the by weight section first. So this is the formula by which NobCommerce calculate the shipping charges based on the weight. And in, in order for this to be activated, you need to make sure that your product has actual weight defined in the product detail page. So if you're adding a product just like this, if you go into the product detail page, here you'll see there's a section where you can define weight, length, width, all the dimensions, if you want to offer free shipping, if there's any additional charges that you would like to charge on any specific product, but make sure you have the weight defined here. Okay, let's go back to the shipping method now. And this is the formula. And all you have to do is add new record and you can add all the option that how you want to define your shipping calculation, basically. So the, for an instance, you can mention here, if your products are coming from warehouse, country, shipping method, here you can see I have ground, next day air, second day air. So basically, if, let's say if I want to configure ground shipping, I can mention something here, order or wait from from one pound or actually from zero to two pound, I want to charge $10 or you can even charge by percentage. So if the weight of a shipping item is zero to two pounds, you can charge 10%, just an example, or 20% if it's more than two pounds, something like that. So this is how you configure all the shipping methods by weight. And here you can see you can manage shipping methods, options, because right now you, we are seeing we are getting ground, next day air, second day air. You can add more options if you like. Something like three day air or something, anything that you like um, to offer to your customers or whatever is available in your country where you're doing the business. And if you go back to the shipping method page. Okay. And here you can also add different kind of restrictions if you like to. Just to give an example, if you click on this button shipping method restrictions, you can restrict any countries from specific shipping types. So I'll give you an example right here. Here you can see I have all the countries mentioned right here and all the options of shipping that I'm offering to my customers. So for a ground, for an instance, 
you can simply restrict ground shipping in all these countries right by selecting this cell. It will select all the countries and you just have to save it. That means all these countries will only see next day air and second day air. But if you like to pick countries, for an instance, in US, I can restrict ground shipping. In US, only these two shipping will be displayed. But in all the other countries, all these three options will be displayed. All you have to do is save. And this is very useful because a lot of times, many businesses do not offer specific shipping type in specific countries or it can cost them more. So this can be very useful and comes very handy. Okay. So now that we have seen how we can restrict different ship shipping methods in specific countries, now look at the other option, how you can charge for shipping by fixed price. This is really simple and really straightforward way to charge your customers for shipping. So simply all you have to do is pick the option. So ground shipping, no matter what, whatever the weight limit of the product is or how big the product is, I can simply charge a flat fee. So in this case, ground shipping will be $50, let's say. Next day air would be $100. And two day air will be $75, let's say, just an example. And a lot of store admins find this option really simple and easy to manage where they don't have to worry about calculating different um, formulas, weight, um, even though knob commerce site is doing that for you, but sometimes it's just easier to manage if you're just charging flat fee. So I will show you a demo of how this looks like in the checkout process. So now that we have configured our shipping method by fixed rate, let's go to the dashboard, I'm sorry, the public store. And just like your customer, let's pick a product. In this case, I'm going to pick this smartphone. And basically, while your customer is adding the products to the shopping cart, we'll see how the shipping methods are being calculated, shipping rate. So in this case, I'm going to add this product to the shopping cart. And now the product has been added to the shopping cart. I'll go to the card section and right here you can see this is the total and it says shipping calculated during checkout process so let's go ahead with the checkout process so let's click on the checkout button and right here we can mention our billing address and right here you can see all the prices that we configure in the administration section are being displayed here. So if I'm going to select ground shipping, $50 will be added to my order total. So let's look into this. Continue. Continue. And right here you can see the subtotal for the product is $245 and shipping rate is $50. So there you have it. This is how you configure manual shipping method in NopCommerce. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by NopCommerce, open source shopping car. Thank you.